A new billboard hanging outside the TD Garden can only mean one thing. Hockey season is finally upon us. Day one of the regular season for your Boston Bruins. Job one will be to beat the Winnipeg Jets. There is also another group taking the ice for the first time in 2015-16. Flip top two. Say hello to number 38 in black and white, NHL referee Francois Saint Laurent. I'm saying four fist bump. How many are you going? The drop of the puck, the black and gold begin their 92nd season in the National Hockey League. It will be the 11th for St. Laurent as a ref in the big leagues. Yeah, let's go. Uh, 55, but it, it went off your, your demon's back. That's, what, that's all I got there. Head! Head! Patrice, my partner had it in the neutral zone. My head it, my. So we got two for two and one for. Two. Okay, perfect. You're going to go in. You want to assess the penalties? Yeah, two, uh, six got two for a hit to the head on Bergeron. Yeah. Then Patrice got two to go back, and then 17 came in. Bottom line, you guys have to be sure because you guys initiate though. Hit the death! Just making sure you can hear the whistle, Brian. Let's go! Whoever gets a nice stick in his beard is not a penalty. The next time he'll slap his head back so we see. If, it, if it's an approved beard, yeah. <laughs> if it's been approved as an extension to the helmet, totally. Good point. Okay. Who is it? Thornburg? Thornburg. We'll have a bunch of cavemen playing in this league. Yeah. We'll have Bart, beer to their knees. You guys are calling a good game today. All right, I haven't called nothing yet. No, that's a good thing. My partner's on fire. Thanks, Shay. While referee St. Laurent may be having a good game, it is not the Bruins' night. After jumping out to an early lead, this one ends on a sour note. Five seconds, let it go. Well, you had a feeling there were going to be some growing pains for this Bruins team. And that was certainly the case tonight. A season opening 6 2 loss to the Winnipeg Jets. Game two of the regular season offers a chance for the Bruins to get back on track and gives them a first look at their winter classic foes, the Montreal Canadiens. <laughs> Missing Zdeno Ochara and Dennis Seidenberg, this game will be a stiff test for the young Bruins defensive core. Guys like 22-year-old Joe Morrow. Come on, buddy, eh? Simple, simple. Front, front, front! This is Morrow's second season with the Bruins and the 17th NHL contest in his career. Regardless of experience, 
tilts with the Habs are tough. Hi, Stick. I think you're going to make across the head side of the helmet. Off the glass, two guys coming, yeah. get your ass off the wall there. Okay. It only takes one bad bounce. Yeah. You know okay. So as soon as they part off the glass, get the f off there. Go! Morrow's backup drive to stick shatters, but Harrison, no goal here. It's waved off immediately. It's going, it's going any either way, you know? I still don't think he touched I don't think I did either, but I was trying to get out of the way. Down 2 0 in the second, Claude Julien uses his coach's challenge on the disputed goal. It's a crucial moment in the game. No matter what happened, we're pushing right now. Let's go. Like, your goalie, your goalie didn't even complain. Like, your goalie, like, goalie. Unfortunately, that call does not go the Bruins' way, and neither does the rest of this game. 4-2 halves and an 0-2 start for the black and gold. Columbus Day in Boston. And while the Bruins players prep for a holiday matinee against Tampa Bay, the team's front office is busy as well. Hey, hey, hey. Hi. Thank hey, Donnie, how are you? How are you? Good. Great to see you. Yeah, you too. It was 20 years ago that NHL prospect and Maine native Travis Roy was paralyzed 11 seconds into his first shift as a Boston University nice. Terrier. Hey, Cam, how are you? Good start. You know, real good. Start. Very good, thanks. Nice to see you. Time. Yeah. That injury prevented Travis from ever getting the chance to sign an NHL contract with the Bruins or any other National Hockey League team until today. So the, there's the official contract. Awesome. awesome, awesome. Because today, Travis Roy is signing a one-day ceremonial contract to become a member of the Boston Bruins. I, I figure, I hope you tell the guys. I mean, this is a one-day deal for me. I want to end my career undefeated, so. I like that. I, I hope that. I like, I like you, thank you. Yeah. You want to read it before you Come run away? Come to the side. He's still waiting for a Man, you want to get in here now? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Right. Awesome. That's special, guys. There it is. Thank you very much. Oh, I always, always dreamed of, dreamed of the day. This isn't quite how I, how I hoped it, but uh, no. really appreciate it. Yeah. Great. We'll see you around. Along with the contract, the Bruins also donate $50,000 to the Travis Roy Foundation, which helps people with spinal cord injuries. And number 24 gets to take the garden ice. After the puck drop, it's upstairs for Travis to watch the game, spend some time with friends, and connect with another member of the Bruins family. This is crazy. Hey, Bobby, how are you? Good to see you. How are you? Good to see you. One, two, three. Awesome. Yeah. How are you? Fantastic. What defines a great hockey player? Well, sometimes it isn't just hockey. 20 years down the road, and Travis Roy continues to inspire. Great. Okay. So, Thousand dream come true. Thank yeah. you. It's a gloomy mid October day in Boston, and it's not just the weather dampening New England spirits today. The black and gold are off to a rough 0-3 start as they prepare for their first road trip of the young season. It 
It will also be the first NHL road trip for rookie defenseman Colin Miller, acquired from the LA Kings on draft day. I was in Manchester last year uh, with the Monarchs in the American Hockey League, so so just being an hour from here, you kind of you kind of know uh, know the area a bit. I mean, I know Boston a little bit, but nothing uh, nothing too crazy. But getting more familiar with it now, uh, kind of as we go. It's a long day for the Bruins as they travel to Denver, Colorado. The first stop is Wilmington, Mass. Fucking hate you or what? Let's just communicate, all right, boys. That's all. Go ahead, go ahead. I want everybody off the ice here. Get the training chance, get your gear off. I want the the leprechaun here to stay out with us here a little bit. The rest of you guys should be going off. Leprechaun. Watch the monitor on hanging out. It's, uh, it's a long flight, so got to find something to do. As the Bruins take the ice in Denver, they are searching for their first win of the year. Looking for a spark, Claude Julien will start Jonas Gustafsson in goal and has inserted Tyler Randall and Tommy Cross into the lineup. It will be the first NHL start for both. But those decisions mean that other players must sit out. Tonight, Zach Trotman and Max Talbot will be the healthy scratches. They're joined by Brad Marchand, who is working his way back from a concussion. Just because they aren't playing, however, does not mean they get the night off. It's my job as a professional to be ready at any time, so, um, you know, just because I'm in the lineup doesn't mean it's a day off. Uh, if anything, it means I need to work harder. Um, you know, make sure I'm keeping myself in game shape, which isn't as easy as it sounds. Uh, easiest way to stay in shape is to play games, so um, you know, I gotta make sure I'm putting in the time off the ice right now to, to be ready when, when my next chance comes. You know, I, I know I gotta come in here and put in my, uh, my time and, and uh, get the workout in, but um, you know, it's tough. You wanna run back and forth and try to watch the game as much as you can, and uh, you still get those nerves. You wanna be out there with the guys, so. And tonight, it is tough for the guys to work out because there are some interruptions, which is actually a good thing. Finding Colin Miller, now Chara, the wrist shot, in and out of it, go for Farlova, and Jimmy Hayes scores for the Bruins, it's 2-0 Boston. Once the workouts are completed, the off-ice group showers, dresses, and gets the chance to support their on-ice teammates, which, of course, each player does in their own unique way. Number 37, I hurt. This one turns out to be a good night for everyone in the Bruins organization. Coach Julian's moves pay off. Tyler Randall pots his first NHL goal. Jonas Gustafsson is solid in net, and it is a well-deserved 6-2 team win. Oh my God, look at this guy! Congrats. With the season's first win and some important individual milestones, there's a lot to be happy about in the Bruins' room after the game. Welcome to Phoenix, Arizona, the second and final stop on the Bruins' first road trip of the season. Come on, Adam, get Marcy, don't let him go. Oh, way to toy with him. Oh, here it is, Marsh. There it is. And after notching their first win of the season, things are noticeably lighter on the practice ice. Adam's probably over here. He's such a nice guy apologizing. Sorry, Brad, taking the puck off you. <laughs> but while the group is definitely in a better mood, the work continues. And no one works harder than Bruins assistant coach, Doug Huda. Listen, if this guy stops, if this guy stops, you can stop. But if that guy keeps going, you keep going, because he'll be offside. So what do they got? What has he got? What has he got? <laughs> Good job, Kels. He's got nothing. Here's our puck. That was textbook, you two. What not to do. Hey, D, on that last one, let's get up and follow. Good habits, all right? Good job, David. Good job, Tooks. David, I give you a pat. 
Sorry, David. The Bruins' trip is a six-day affair with just two games, so there's a little downtime on this one. Veteran Zdeno Char is one guy who knows all about traveling in the NHL. Obviously, winning the game is uh, is the uh, you know the most important thing. All, all the focus is on uh, winning games, playing well. Um, but if you can enjoy some warm weather, you know, nice scenery um, on the day off, it's it's nice to just think of uh, uh, think of some something else than hockey. You know, just relax. You know, free up your mind. Z obviously loves playing hockey, and road trips are a part of the deal. But he is also a husband and a father. You always miss your family. Obviously, my daughter and my wife. Um, you know, you try to talk to them every day. As much as you you want to be home, you, you know it's you know you got the job to do, and that's part of the job. But uh, you know, it's really exciting every time you're coming home and you know see your family again. The captain's physical fitness is legendary. Perhaps not surprisingly, it extends beyond the gym and the ice, all the way into his hotel room. We obviously practice almost every day. Um, then, you know, we fly, we are on the bus, uh, you know, um, every day. I, I like to do uh, some kind of like a recovery stretch before I go to bed or uh, when I have time after the practices and no matter if I'm home or on the road. For sure, for me, I, I, I feel better, um, you know, I, I noticing the, the recovery, speeds up the recovery and you, you're feeling kind of lighter uh, on your feet and, um, you know, you're preventing injuries as well. See ya. See ya. <laughs> it's Bruins Coyotes in the road trip finale, and third year D man Kevin Miller will be playing a big role in this one. <laughs> it's a rough start for Miller and the Bees with a disputed goal early. Huh? I get this light over if he's up there, and I'll have to. Oh, my leg there. If he's not there, you could have just slid right over. After video review, the play on the ice stands. It's going to be a good goal. Boston forfeits the time up. Keep going, keep going, boys. Hey, 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 you got a power play here. Come on, I'm not. He's two, it's two of us. Huh? We're done. It's two of us. We're done. I got it, I got it. The Bruins carry much of the play, but the score frustratingly remains 1-0 into the second. The team needs a spark, and Kevin Miller is about to provide it. Hey, go. You guys are hey, around that guy. Hey, you kidding me? You're the best hey, 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 hey. Kevin Miller's impressive second period scrap with Joe Vitale helps turn the tide. Gives to Krejci, Krejci centering, Randall moves in, scores on the backhand! Woo! In the first game back after his concussion, Brad Marchand chips in a shorthanded goal. Yeah! To give the Bees a 3-1 lead, but the Coyotes are not done yet. Patrice Bergeron and the Bruins, however, refuse to let this one slip yeah! away. Right. Yeah! Right. That's it, Z. It's an early win in a long season, but after the final buzzer sounds, the boys take a few well-deserved minutes to enjoy this one. The season is still very young, and the chemistry of this new look squad is growing by the day. With the first month of the season in the books, the black and gold will look to build on that chemistry and their consistency in the days, weeks, and months ahead.
Yeah, I know. Go ahead, please. I want to wash your mouth after, too. I know. It would have been no goal. It's not a penalty. I didn't know, I didn't know who was it. It was uh, 55, but yeah. it, it went off your, your D-man's back. That's, oh, what, that's all I got there. Patrice, my partner had it in the neutral zone. My had it, my. So we got two for two and one for. Two. Okay, perfect. You're gonna go in. And, on the head you want to assess the penalty? So two, uh, six got two for a hit to the head on Bergeron. Yeah. Then Patrice got two to go back, and then 17 came in. Bottom line, you guys had to be. A new billboard hanging outside the TD Garden can only mean one thing. Hockey season is finally upon us. With the drop of the puck, the black and gold begin their 92nd season in the National Hockey League. It will be the 11th for St. Laurent as a ref in the big leagues. Yo, let's go! Forty-six! I got a mouthpiece, anyone? Mouthpiece! Right there? Yours? Day one of the regular season for your Boston Bruins. Job one will be to beat the Winnipeg Jets. There is also another group taking the ice for the first time in 2015-16. Say hello to number 38 in black and white, NHL referee Francois Saint Laurent. I'm saying four fist bumps. How many are you going? 